Good evening. This evening I'm going to cover um, the installation of Oracle 10G on a Windows 8.1 machine. I know a lot of people are using uh, Professional or Home Edition. This one is an Enterprise one. As you can see, this is my base install of Windows 8.1. I haven't installed anything further. I'm going to take a chance and see what errors I get. I've got a standard uh, local user account and I'm running it inside of Oracle VirtualBox. Um, if I go to devices here and I choose my disk image, um, I want to look for um, a, my Oracle, I've burnt the, burnt the ISO image here. Um, so now basically it should uh, show me that there's an option to run it. Uh, <coughs> if I have a look here, there's Oracle XE. So that should be version 10G from what I can recall. I'm going to see if it executes. Hoping to replicate whatever issues people are experiencing with the installation. As you can see there it says 10G Express Edition so this is the correct version. Okay, obviously this is the introduction where it just says welcome to the installation wizard for Oracle 10G Express Edition. I'm just going to choose next. You have to obviously read through the terms and conditions and make sure that you're satisfied with them. I'm just going to click on a, a accept and click on next. Okay, as you can see there it's automatically going to install it in the Oracle XE folder on my C drive and it's going to it's telling us it's going to install the oracle database 10g express edition so i'm going to click on next um it wants a password here i've forgotten what the default password was i'm just going to use admin <coughs> and confirm that admin uh, click on next here it's busy telling me that it's going to install it on the C backslash Oracle XE and then it's going to open port 1521 and it's also going to open the Oracle services on this port 2030 and listening port will be 8080. So I'm happy with those defaults. I'm going to click on install and see what uh, happens from here. The difference that I've uh, got here is that I haven't got any antivirus installed. Um, most, some of the antiviruses, especially Avast, would have a built-in firewall protection. And I would find that that might prevent you from installing it or um, allowing Oracle to install it at a certain port. So these are just things that uh, you could experience, but I haven't installed any antivirus on this machine. As you can see here, yeah, it's busy telling us it's going to create the service and start. <coughs> I'm 
Okay, it says that it wants to install and download .NET Framework 3.5, which includes .NET 2 and 3. I'm not going to try and download this because I know that these files will um, be they, they're quite a large uh, setup. I've already got them, so I'm going to say skip this installation. Um, and let's see if we get any problems. Okay. So it does require Microsoft.NET 3.5. Okay, and there it's finished installing. I click on finish, it should load up the internet and want to try and connect to um, the local port, which is this 8080. As you can see, here's the login page. That means that the Oracle database was successfully installed. I trust that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that it has been helpful. Thank you very much. Goodbye.